my name is uh, Jared Emery, and uh, I joined the Orthodox Church five years or so. I've known about Orthodoxy most of my life. My parents were good friends with Russian Orthodox people, and uh, so I got to see the Russian liturgy when I was growing up, and uh, it impacted me definitely. I remember how beautiful it was and also how confusing it was because I didn't understand Russian. From there, uh, I spent a few years, my middle school years in Ethiopia, where I actually got to live in a Orthodox country and see the difference of what it's like to live in a place that is actually still enchanted in a way the West isn't, where we no longer see the supernatural world anymore. We ignore it entirely. You know, we are a materialist and spiritualist, non-spiritualist um, country. So coming back from Ethiopia to America was very difficult for me. It was a great culture shock because, honestly, we are culturally bland. With that culture shock was a long time struggle for me as my Baptist church removed everything that I found beautiful in the Baptist church and became uh, very contemporary, as they would call it. And with that, I started uh, leaving the church, started studying comparative religion, especially Buddhism and Hermeticism for some time. Uh, probably the only thing that kept me anything near near Christian, I, I would have considered myself an atheist at the time, but uh, I could not completely accept the atheist presupposition in that it was inconsistent with my moral beliefs. I could never make a godless world and morality fit together. And so I wrote a few papers of that in college. And then there was a hard time in my life, pretty much, where you know, I had this girlfriend, and I also was also working on this uh, business project with a friend, and I found out that he knows her and ends up knowing her way too well. So in a dream, I find out that she's pregnant. And turns out, you know, there's something there. So uh, I backed off and was at that time looking to try to find out what in the world is actually true at this point. So I, I, during this time, I had a dream where I was running through this, uh, this country, this geography, and there would get, come to a point where I'd come up to a cliff and I'd jump off it onto the top of like a, uh, one of those like tower temples that are oriental and I would just run down it and out the door back in the geography, back to the cliff. And after doing so several times, at the bottom of the temple as I was running, I stopped by this uh, monk character who uh, told me to pay attention to the Buddha. So in the dream, I walked over to this golden Buddha thing and then woke up. And uh, a little bit later, that week I think, I was heavily drinking there were people with these telescopes, so I got to see the planet Jupiter with its moon circling it. But uh, that night, I was just like, I, I need no truth. I need it. So next morning, I wake up. I'm incredibly hungover, and suddenly it occurs to me. Three equals one. And that's not mathematical, but it's like the monad and the triad together. And so that's the trinity. I understood something of that, that that was like, the one thing in the world that I had, had ever known to be true. So at that time I determined the next day I was going to go to the Orthodox Church. So I did, and it was Palm Sunday, so that week was Holy Week. Um, but after that first visit here to this parish and telling Father James that I wanted to become Orthodox at that point, that night I had a dream where I woke up and was blind, so I made my way to the bathroom of the house not being able to see anything splash water in my eyes and scales fell off. And uh, that there was like a final confirmation that this was, this was it, that I was finally able to, you know, actually start a journey actually towards knowing truth. That, that's, that's basically the story in a nutshell. From there, it's just uh, learning things and that one piece of making sense, making the rest of the world making sense into a completely new worldview that I didn't have before. What would you say is the you mentioned before that you you said that you went to the Orthodox Church that next morning. Mm -hmm. Why the Orthodox Church as opposed to literally any other church? Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. Uh, several years prior, uh, when I was a senior in high school, I actually visited the Vatican. At that time, I thought, well, this is what I've been looking for, and I want to join the Roman Catholic Church. I never did, though. Um, and I think... I don't think I ever would, and not to say anything against them really, but um, you know, it was at that moment when I recognized the tr Trinity that 
I realized to go to the Orthodox Church. The two were connected. I can't explain it, but that, that's how it is. Why not from Catholicism? Um, well, looking back on it now, I'd say it would probably have to do with the filioque and that there's something incorrect there, um, you know, because uh, it creates a dyad with the, between the monad and the triad where you can have um, all, all the attributes are either shared or to a single person. But if you have a dyad, that, that sets the whole thing off kilter pretty much and can lead to all sorts of things. What would you say is the biggest thing that changed in your heart and in your life? between before being orthodox and now? I think a lot changed. I think I was pretty unhealthy beforehand and during the chaos of joining the Orthodox Church and during that whole time, um, mentally, I became a healthy person. I was at the edge of functionality and then I became functional. I think very antisocial and asocial and you know, I actually, for the first time, you know, started actually caring about other people and, you know, how my actions impact others. What would you say to someone who is considering becoming Orthodox, but they're still not really sure? Um, what I would say is that uh, come to the liturgy um, and you know, just try to listen. Don't try to follow along in service books, but just try to be present during the liturgy and um, see if you meet Christ here. If you meet Christ here, well, you should stay. <laughs>